Hello everyone, it is me, Spook Anthony Jav Tano here, the music's most internet spookiest. And in this video, I will be reviewing three uh, random Halloween sound effects albums I found on the internet. But first, best teeth in the game. So now let's get started on doing these Halloween albums, shall we? The first album I'll be doing is Halloween uh, Sound Effects by PC Treasures Inc. The CD was made in 2005 when Anthony Fantano was a strapping young 20 year old. It was also made by PC Music before they got all politically correct. This album fucking sucks. It sounds like a bunch of people throwing up for 30 minutes. If I wanted to hear a bunch of people throwing up for 30 minutes, I'd go to a college freshman apartment party where I can watch a bunch of disillusioned millennial youth discovering the wonders of binge drinking and their slow decline into mediocrity. There's no substance to this album. The cover says frighten your friends, maybe even yourself. And upon listening to this album, I started getting scared because I was like, the only cool thing about this album is the stereo effects. Like you can hear a cat screech go from the right ear to the left ear, but of course this is backwards because of the way you're viewing it. The detuned piano synths and strings don't even scare me at all. It just sounds like Grimes' first album. The soundscapes don't make sense whatsoever at all. Like there's a part where this man is just screaming no with like an echo reverb and there's all these animal growling eating noises and it sounds like Hitler's giving a blowjob in the background. It's like, why? The next album is this one, um, Halloween Sounds of Horror, by Viterex International LDT. This sounds exactly like a vaporwave project. However, this 45 minute long spooky spine tingling adventure into atmosphere actually immersed me into a world of horror. It's way more immersive than anything Dream Catalog has pooped out. LOL, JK, I'd like talking shit about all you vaporwavers because you guys are really elitist and mean to me on the internet. This album was released in 1995 when Ant Fant was only 10 years old, and this album is way better than the last album, even though it was made a decade before. It's actually very much like a trance track. There's like this distorted kick mimicking the, the human heartbeat that just like draws you in, and the tempo creates this otherworldly schizophrenic fever dream. In fact, the reverb vocals and the sounds, the, the noises are actually evenly spread throughout the entire album in a manner where I forgot I was listening to it. So like this morning when I was making tacos for breakfast, like I just made tacos to the sounds of, you know, people moaning and reverb. It's actually really surprisingly good. So if you have nothing better to do on Halloween night, you can just pop on this album and get spooky with yourself, if you know what I mean. The final album I listened to is actually these two albums uh, mashed together and then reverberated and reversed and stuff. It's actually really cool. Um, the first the first two albums were released in 1985 when Our Lord and Savior was first born. Um, these albums also have that warm, analogish lo-fi cassette sound, so it creates a really spectacular, immersive kind of just horror vintage feeling. Like I felt like I was in like a 1970s horror slasher film or like a uh, Freddy Krueger film from the 80s just listening to it. It has like that, that aesthetic that people like. So if you like jerking off to things from the past, I know I do, you're gonna love this album. The mashup album was created by YouTube user Michael Hansen Fun, and I found that in the, the comments in the, the video. So yeah, it recreates this, this um, pure dread feeling with an uncanny, you know, unrivaled Halloween sound that other Halloween sound effects just don't have. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to listen to the albums I talked about in this video, go to the unlisted playlist I put somewhere. 
and it's probably in the description, probably in that little button thing that's right here. So yeah, tell me what you think, and if you want me to review more spooky things, I'm your host, uh, Spooky uh, Japanese Adult Video, reminding you to create forever. <laughs>